hit high pixel skyblock, damage is very, very important. Most of what the skyblock community says is true, but sometimes it's not. Today, we'll be testing out popular opinions about damage and see if they're true. I'll be checking whether the Raider's Axe does more damage than the Aspect of the End, the Aspect of the Dragons does more damage than the Pigment Sword, and whether the Superior Dragon Armor does more damage than the Strong Dragon Armor. I will be using a coding program in this video to calculate the damage. If you want to calculate your, the damage yourself and like get the calculator, go into the description. Okay, so let's get straight into it. One. Raider's Axe is better than the Aspect of the End. Many people say that the Raider's Axe is the go-to weapon for other game players because it does a lot of damage for the price it is. But is that really true? Let's find out. I'll be using three scenarios because I want you all to be sure that the damage is right because different scenarios lead to different amounts of damage so sometimes one sword will be better than another in one scenario but the other sword will be better than the sword before in another scenario. 1. 200 strength, 200% crit damage, 40% crit chance, combat level 15, and sharp reforged. Okay, so let's see how much the Raider's Axe does. It does 3,453 damage. Now let's see how much the Aspect of the End does. It does 4,826 damage. But that was just a typical Raider's Axe. But what happens when you max it out with the foraging and combat stuff? So the second scenario is 250 strength, 250% crit damage, 50% crit chance, combat 20, and the sharp reforge. So let's see how much damage the max Raider's Axe does. It does 9,686 damage. Let's see how much the Aspect of the End does. It does 7,625 damage. However, if you are a strong dragon armor, it actually gives you a very big buff to the Aspect of the End. So now let's see which one does more damage. The third scenario is 350 strength, 350% crit damage, 60% crit chance, combat level 25, and the sharp reforge. The max Raider's Axe does 18,258 damage. The max aspect of the end does 20,539 damage. So this myth is partly true, partly not. If you don't play that much high pixel skylock and you just want to get a sword that does a bunch of damage early on, get the aspect of the end. However, if you're willing to spend some time grinding it out and making the Raider's Axe better, then definitely get the Raider's Axe. These two swords are ones that will always be useful since with the aspect of the end you can teleport and that's the only sword or thing like in Skyblock that can act teleport. And the Raider's Axe will also always be useful since if you like get overkill's amount of damage with your better sword later on, then you can just use the Raider's Axe instead to still be one-shotting them and you can get more coins in the process. If you want a more in-depth video about me explaining about how to get these swords, like explaining which one is really better and my recommendations, then click right there. Two. Aspect of the Dragons does more damage than the Pigment Sword. Many people believe that the Aspect of the Dragons does more damage than the Pigment Sword. Well, let's see if that's true. The first scenario is 250 strength, 250% crit damage, 50% crit chance, combat level 20, and hot potato books, and also the sharp reforge. Let's see how much damage the Aspect of the Dragons does. It does 15,866 damage. Now let's see how much damage the Pigment Sword does. It does 16,254 damage. The second scenario is 300 strength, 300% crit damage, 60% crit chance, combat level 25, hot potato books, and the sharp reforge. The aspect of the dragons does 23,482 damage. The Pigment Sword does 23,957 damage. The third scenario is 400 strength, 400% crit damage, 70% crit chance, combat level 30, hot potato books, 
and the Sharp Reforge. The aspect of the dragons is 41,202 damage. The Pigment Sword does 41,843 damage. So in all three cases that I did, the Pigment Sword did slightly more damage than the aspect of the dragons. I still don't recommend the Pigment Sword though, because even if it does more damage, it's like three times more expensive now. So I don't recommend getting it unless you have like a massive pig grinder and you already have enough money to get like a pigment pet with it because the pigment sword plus the pigment pet is pretty good. If you want a more in-depth video, then click right there. 3. Superior Dragon Armor is better than Strong Dragon Armor A lot of people believe that the Superior Dragon Armor does more damage than Strong Dragon Armor. So let's see if it's true. I'll be using the Aspect of the Dragons as a base sword. And remember, the Superior Dragon Armor only buffs the Aspect of the Dragon's ability, not the actual sword, so it doesn't matter. And I won't use Hot Potato Books on the armor since it only affects health and defense, not damage. The first scenario is 300 strength, 300% crit damage, 15% crit chance, combat 25, and the Fierce Reforge. The Superior Dragon Armor does 34,011 damage. The Strong Dragon Armor does 29,071 damage. The second scenario is 350 Strength, 350% Crit Damage, 20% Crit Chance, Combat Level 30, and the Fierce Reforge. The Superior Dragon Armor does 46,023 damage. The Strong Dragon Armor does 39,129 damage. The third scenario is 450 Strength, 450% Crit Damage, 25% crit chance, combat level 35, and the Fierce Reforge. The Superior Dragon Armor does 72,071 damage. The Strong Dragon Armor does 60,631 damage. Strong Dragon Armor never beats the Superior Dragon Armor 99% of the time in terms of damage, so although I won't recommend the Superior Dragon Armor unless you have over 75 million coins in your bank, this myth was true. So thank you for watching. If you learned at least one thing from this video, please like and subscribe and bye.